we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Hello, welcome to YouTube 156. 56? 56? Okay, we are about to embark on a journey of paddling on a beautiful evening. Boat. On a beautiful paddle boat, yeah. On this beautiful lake. It's a private lake. We're in an undisclosed locale. I know. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's amazing. Yep, it's amazing. And we'd like you to stay tuned because we have an exciting YouTube coming up. Teresa and I are going to be interviewed by a couple of our guests that are here mm -hmm. from Minneapolis. Ah! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm addicted already. We're not even out on that lake. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at oh, this, this lake. Orc. It's beautiful. Okay, you sit right between. Them. Oh, oh this, this is so cool. See, and there's a the wind tonight. Grass. It's white caps. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be stuck out in the slough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, show the white caps. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, this is a YouTube takeover today, and I am Jennifer Manstrom coming to you live from the Gnome Schoolhouse. These are my friends Elizabeth Donahue <laughs> and Betty Ansel. <laughs> and we are going to interview Teresa and Chris this evening. Good evening. Tonight we uh, come to you from Gnome Schoolhouse. And in so coming from Gnome Schoolhouse, we have some of the most important people who put this place together. We have Chris, Mike, Mary, and Teresa. And we are going to ask all of them, not each of them, all of them the same question. And the first question we have for each of you is your connection to Nome, North Dakota, which is a mere 18 miles from the I-94 corridor. Such yes. a simple place to get to. If you are traveling between <laughs> Bozeman and Fargo or the Twin Cities, Fargo, this is such an easy place to get to. Minneapolis um, my Get yourself on the interstate. <laughs> my mother has a cousin that graduated from Nome. <gasps> no kidding. Yes. We're going to take it back behind <laughs> to our fellow Mike. Mike? Mike? Mike said earlier that he was born and bred here, so let's, yes, let's born see and that bred. Was Born and raised here. <laughs> Lived here all my life. Farm. Is that a... Did you see that? What? And Mary, his beautiful wife. Mary, what about right your uh, connection to this area? I was born um, about four miles from here um, to the north and um, grew up in the area with um, my husband's mother who used to babysit us and everything and just grew from there and that's how we met and got together and then we got attached to the gnome schoolhouse awesome talk about your connection to the gnome schoolhouse or the city of gnome town of gnome if it weren't for you i don't have the same connection <laughs> well if it weren't for you we wouldn't even have been here Right. on October. Because you discovered the Gnome School. Yes. I used to drive you know by here. and see yep. the school and mm -hmm. think, wow, what an amazing school for a little town. Yes. And I would slow down and tell my kids, look at this school. And they would, they could care less. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. That's true. Uh, kids don't 
care about anything. But later when we were trying to figure out which school we should renovate. I, yes, I remember in. hearing the chants. No, no, no. Yes. So when we were trying to decide which school we should renovate, my kids were in the background saying, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, and tell us again, refresh everyone in the audience. So, Teresa, how far do you live from Nome now? I live 18 miles away. Okay, mm -hmm. so you got a little drive in the morning to mm -hmm. come over. Mm -hmm. And Chris, originally you lived how far away? 45 minutes. 45 minute drive. Mm -hmm. So you were going down 46, you were yep. heading west, you were going here every day. Yep. And then you and Steve decided to? Sell our farm and move here. Wonderful so we, choice. <laughs> we've been in a camper since April 1st. And we've toured their new beautiful home to be, which mm -hmm. should be ready, what, by fall? August. Oh, it's it's him. Honey, it's <laughs> August already. It's, it's August, my love. Let's, Are you let's in? Shoot for uh, August let's, 2nd. Let's shoot let's for shoot September. September. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And then circling back to Mike and Mary, we want the audience to also know that if we could swing our camera to the right, yes. we would literally be pointing it to our neighbors, Mike and Mary yes. Peterson. And so we found out tonight, Betty and Elizabeth and I, over dinner with the Petersons, oh. that mm. Mike is not actually of the city limit. So you are, tell us more about that, Mike. I'm in the township. <laughs> township. <laughs> We're the meets and bounds of no. The meat. So we had bones. the choice of being in city limits or being on the in the township. That is a choice. lovely phrase. Repeat that again. The meats, meats and bounds. bounds. A lovely phrase. I love mm -hmm. that phrase. The Another nice and phrase and is so you Mary, could you spit into <laughs> the city of no or to be funny here? Yeah, okay. pretty much. You could Yes. Betty, a question for from you. Betty. This side of the peanut gallery. Okay, so when I first walked into this place, it just took my breath away. I mean, it absolutely took my breath away. I just, I, I mean, and I am being, we're being all goofy here tonight, but I am like, seriously, I almost like was ready to, I couldn't believe it. It's just like, this is a huge, beautiful, beautiful place like and crazy beautiful like <laughs> like old you walk in and i'm like this school and then this and then that gymnasium <laughs> i'm like this is crazy so i would have been scared to death to take this on and i am a huge risk taker you know it's only my husband that says like this so i want to know what gave you the courage to take on this you 45 minutes away, Teresa, I met you. You came to my house. You were doing these lovely filthy things, and I, I, I just, I want to know what kept you going. What? Because I got that answer. And you, as community members, too. So yes, each of you yes. can all. And we, and I, and Teresa and I, I, I are, love Mary and Mike. I like they're my BFFs already. <laughs> I love to go back here. I, it's like you're my Pete. So I want to know because I, yeah. this is like freaking amazing. Okay, Chris, what's Teresa your answer? and I are women of faith. Yeah, and. For some reason, this is what God wanted us to do. Mm -hmm. You know, there were so many times that we put our heels down and said, no, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> you know, when That's the huge. cost kept, huge. it's huge, 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 absolutely huge. And he the just opened open. the doors yeah. and we just kept going through. And we've got Mike and Mike here that are- Mike and Mary. Mike and Mary. <laughs> Mike, that she, she honestly, was. we could not do this without either of them. Yes. Either of them. Um, Golf yeah. clap. Golf totally. clap. Yeah. We yeah. would be no, dead in the water. Yeah. But what? Yeah. But like, did you? Did you feel like? Oh, 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 many know. times. Many times. Many times. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I am. I am so impressed. You I mean, like, and every obstacle you've had. You figured it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because yep. I think it's a beautiful space. And you move forward. I did, when I took these two girls on the tour and we walked into the gym, especially Elizabeth's face, it was like a gog. <laughs> you were, the chin fell. I'd so never seen that expression. I'm like so Elizabeth's up. chin fell. I'm trying so to figure up. out how I can use this in my real life, but I'm 
four hours away. I know. And, Shane, and, and I'm like, what an opportunity I'm gonna, for I'm anyone. Bring everybody in my world here. here. That's my thing. I'm like, oh my God. so we want to get the word yeah. out. We want to mm -hmm. figure out a way to help you, all of you, to bring this immense joy that these oh two have. Like you know. Great. Because they've seen that via me over the last two years. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. And so, you know, it took us a year to get this together. Which and is so we awesome. want to bring this to the rest of the world. Because like the girl said tonight, why isn't this place full tonight? Ah, yeah. There should be 10 rooms full tonight. Absolutely. So we want to make sure that everyone understands the joy. Soon enough, this place will be so filled yes. with people. It, it will be very yes. difficult yes. to rent a room, it will be very difficult to get a table, it'll be very difficult to, to, have, a wedding. to have a wedding or any to event. The retreat. event spaces here are awesome. The, the art spaces here are awesome. Oh, so the classes awesome. are amazing. 17, 18 miles off, off of I-94. Uh, this is a beautiful, this is one of the most beautiful parts of the world that we could have here in the United States. And well it's put. a wonderful place. <laughs> well put, dear. A great drive. It's well worth all of it. So, yeah, Absolutely. well put. So we want to tell you all, tell your friends, spread this video, comment, like, share. We want everybody to be able to come to know. And, and if you're not taking classes or having a wedding or what you need to come and just Hang out with these good people. Because <laughs> we're having a great time in Nome. Woo! We asked a question on what we are, Chris and I are afflicted with. Yes. And we got it mostly right. Chris is afflicted with a little more than Rizzle's leg, but a few of you got Teresa's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do have rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. Chris does have restless leg do. syndrome, but she does have another issue. ailment condition. Yes. I don't know what you call it. I don't know either. I think it it causes the restless leg. But, but anyway, anyway, it does cause restless yep. leg syndrome. But the rheumatoid arthritis. I do have that. I did mm -hmm. find out I have that. Possibly. Your mother it had like it? was like five years ago. My mom had... A rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. and she had she was her her hands and her feet were deformed from it mm. so that they were it was hard for her to walk even your immune system attacking your own body and you there's nothing you can do about it mm -hmm. and I've had it it started with me when I was I think 46 and it started in my in my fingers mm -hmm. and it's it's normal if you have like both your fingers on both of your hands then you kind of know it's probably rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis. arthritis and that's what I had I had it on both fingers and I was determined not to take any drugs at all um, any of that the doctor prescribed and I tried changing my diet in many different ways mm -hmm. I went for months and months until it was so hard that I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't, I couldn't like grab a milk carton out of the fridge. I couldn't like open a door. My hands hurt so bad. And so then I decided that's when I decided that this is no good. Do the medication. Um, and I tried one medication. Well, I've actually been, this is my third medication I'm on. The, the first medication I was allergic to didn't, it was working, but it caused other issues. The second medication it was kind of working, didn't do everything, you know, didn't make me feel like I could exercise even, but, mm -hmm. uh, and then it made me feel really, really sick. And so I stopped doing that. And then the third one, it actually makes so that I can actually get up in the morning and go about my life normally. Mm -hmm. And I can walk down the steps and I can pick up a jug of milk. I can open a door. And Which you can amazing. exercise. And yeah. I can exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have tried all of the different diets and everything that people yeah. tell me to do, and it didn't work. And it was to the point where 
it was my joints I was getting like my joints were getting deformed mm -hmm. and I didn't want that anymore and so I decided mm -hmm. to try the medication and it works and I can yeah. to take the medication and you know and there's so many folks that you need to do it naturally you need to do it naturally mm -hmm. you know but the good Lord put these medications on the earth to help us and mm -hmm. if they can help us take them and I was very resistant yeah. to taking the medication. Yeah. I was trying my hardest not to mm -hmm. until it was. I was laying in the bed in the morning with teary eyes, thinking, "I can't even get out of bed. It yeah. hurts so bad. I can't. I don't even know if I can walk down the stairs." Mm -hmm. And so when I hear, like, I'll be sitting in the clinic and I'll see the Humira commercials, and I'll think, "These almost make me cry." <laughs> <laughs> because they're kneading they the are, bread and yeah. like, I couldn't knead bread even because yeah. my hands wouldn't do it. And so, yeah, the medications are, they can do amazing things. Yeah. I don't know what else they're doing to me, but I'm allowed to get out of bed and go about my life normally. And needle and, felt. And needle felt, yes. I was very concerned right away mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be able to continue needle felting mm -hmm. and that... Um, that would all come to an end and thankfully I can still kneel felt because of the medication and yeah there are so many many and it's always changing and mm -hmm. I may not this medication not mar might not work forever but yeah or and then when your fingers get deformed it's, it's hard to come yeah. back from that yeah mm -hmm. and thankfully I have a little you know problems in my toes and things where they are they've moved where they shouldn't be mm -hmm. <laughs> but and I think that's because I, I held out so long without taking medication the yeah. my my hands are fine and mm -hmm. and I can there was a time where I couldn't even make a fist and now mm. I can I couldn't grab things I couldn't pick up like I said a jug of milk I couldn't open a door wow and yeah it was very very depressing and I know a lot of people are suffering from that absolutely that's and a lot of people are holding out like you did I don't mm -hmm. want to take the meds I don't want to you know go down that road but good grief if they're gonna help you that's why they're here yeah so far so yeah good. they haven't harmed me <laughs> that I know of yeah. you know but um, this is an actual immune um, disease where mm -hmm. your immune system is attacking attacking your body it's your entire body it's not just your joints it's your organs it's everything uh, you have no idea mm -hmm. what it's doing and it changes from day to day and it's it's more of a disease than just than more than than people yeah. understand yeah so. they yeah it's not just growing old it's yeah yeah I have a lot of people that tell me well that's what it is when you grow old I'm like, well, I got it when I was yeah, like 46. 46. Yeah. And a lot of people get it in their 20s. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have it. Mm -hmm. And it's a very misunderstood disease. Mm -hmm. It's about your joints, but it's also about your organs. Your heart is affected. Your other organs are affected. Mm -hmm. um, it affects your entire body. And then it trickles down to your family. Mm -hmm. I have medication that is working for me right yep. now. Yeah. Um, there are days that I can't exercise and things, mm -hmm. but mostly, considering where I was, I yeah. am much, much, much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and we're just going to leave my other condition out there. And if any of you, because we, we have, have spoken, talked about it, yeah, we times. have talked about it. Um, your daughter shares the same condition. Mm -hmm. And. So. And I know many people do, mm -hmm. so that's why we want to share about it, mm -hmm. so that you can know that you're not the only one. Absolutely. Yep. And we have mentioned it many times. So. Absolutely. And she does mm -hmm. have restless leg syndrome, but this is another condition. I think it's in... Conjunction. A con yes, mm -hmm. of, of something else. So, anywho, yeah, yeah, and... We are checking on the gym's weaving, whether or not it's the world's largest weaving. We need to check on that. We are we checking don't on that because we sincerely don't. We don't know. 
Yep. We'd like to claim it. We sure would, because everyone says, I've never seen anything like that. And we're like, we haven't either. I mean, yeah. a lot of folks are doing kind of wall weavings, you know, maybe maximum the size of what we've got going behind here, mm -hmm. but not 80 by whatever we have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so, huge. Yeah. We'll keep you posted on that one. Yeah. And that's about all we have. Yeah. So God bless you all for joining us and thank you yeah. so much thank for you. watching. Thank you. Please like this video, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.